watch out for Budgie the Little Helicopter, coming soon on video. He's the bravest, cheekiest, friendliest little helicopter Airfield Airfield's ever known. Budgie the Little Helicopter. Catch him soon on video before he gets into any more mischief. Halloween. The one night a year where nothing is as it seems. Where children are demons. Houses are haunted. And even trees are terrifying. Written and narrated by master storyteller Ray Bradford. Featuring the voice talents of Leonard Nimoy. Mount Shroud is the name. And from the gifted animators at Hanna-Barbera. The Halloween Tree. Coming this fall from Hanna-Barbera. Trick or treat. He was the master of mischief. The Sultan of Silliness. And now, everybody's Zero Turn Hero is back and more animated than ever in an all-new action-adventure series. Somebody stop me! Yes, now you can own every eye-popping, heart-stopping moment of excitement as the mask of many faces takes on the craftiest criminals in the world. Wait right there, don't move. It's the Mask Animated Series. Packed with action, loaded with laughs. You don't ever want to mess with a babysitter. And crammed with new characters. So be a hero, not a zero. Add these mind-boggling masterpieces to your own video collection today. It's for my fans! Take home the Mask Animated Series. Two great new videos. The Mask is always greener on the other side and Baby's Wild Ride, available to buy at all fine video shops. I'm smoking! Christmas is traditionally the time when important films are released, when whispers of Oscar mingle with snowflakes. So it's fitting that all of us at Hanna-Barbera ask ourselves, what are the ingredients of a hit movie? First, you need a great script. Hey, Santa, if you need a pit stop during your midnight ride for the kiddies, drop in at the Bedrock Community Theater. Yeah, we're doing a Christmas carol. Then you need star power. Spirit, I'm not the man I was. A person with the ability to make a dramatic entrance. A knack for disappearing into the role. Christmas, ah, humbug. Oh, what a Scrooge. Yeah, good, aren't I? What a Scrooge. I am Scrooge. I am sick. Oh. Loved by others. Self-centered skin flint. <laughs> Admired by his fellow thespians. I still say I should have played Scrooge. Places! <laughs> Hanna-Barbera is pleased to present the granddaddy of prequels, a Flintstones Christmas Carol. Reserve your tickets. Cue the wind. Cue the snow. Because the level of this performance isn't likely to be repeated for another ice age. Hey, wish me luck, Wilma. Yeah, break a leg. As the curtain goes up on a Flintstones Christmas Carol. <laughs> will Fred turn in the performance of his life as Ebenezer Scrooge? Or will he just have the traditional Dickens of a time? You have never seen the like of me before. Your family's invited to share this classic Christmas tale with a prehistoric twist. My cane, my cane. With all your favorite Hanna-Barbera characters helping to light up your holiday and remind us of its true meaning. Merry Christmas! And let's not forget all the little people who made this possible. Everybody's got to make a living. It's all very odd. 
I don't know where I am, but I've got the strangest feeling I know exactly where I'm going. Oh, follow your nose. Best foot forward. That's all very well, but both my feet are as good as each other, in which case I shall just have to skip. Hmm, there's something inside this hill. But how could it get inside? There's no door, just grass and tangleweed and... oh! What's a door? It's the thing you open to let me in. Who's me? I am. Oh, then who am I? <laughs> who are you? I asked first. You asked fastest. OK, I'm Ali. And I'm confused. What is an Ali? I am silly. You're silly? But I thought you said you were Ali. Oh dear, let's start again. My name is Ali. What's a name? A name is, well, it's what you call a thing or a person. This is called a table. A table. This is called a mushroom. A mushroom. This is a saucepan. Stop me if I'm going too fast. Stop! And you must be the slow Norris. Why must I? Because you're very slow and it says Norris on your bed. Well, I can't hear it. That's because the word is written down. Look, Norris, you're the slow Norris. What are words? Don't you know anything? Words are things that you say, all right. Words are made up of letters. Do you know your ABC? No. What's my ABC? It's a... well, you know. No. You really should get out more. There's an out? Of course there's an out. I came in through it, remember? Well, you're the only one who ever did. Well, what about your friends? They must get in somehow. What's a friend? You must know what a friend is. Must I? Yes. Is a friend a little round, juicy thing that the slow Doris likes to eat? No, and it's slow Norris, not Doris. Oh. Well, then it must be one of these thorny sticks the slow Boris scratches his fleas with. It's not Boris, it's Norris. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> So, is that a friend? Is this? W what about this? You really are very slow, aren't you? No. Uh, what was the question? The question was, what is a friend? Well, I don't know. That's why I asked you. Oh, you are impossible. Uh, this friend? Yes? Would... I like it if I saw one. A friend isn't an it, it's a somebody. Not just anybody. Anybody can be a friend, but a friend is somebody very special. I haven't got a somebody. I haven't even got an anybody. All I've got is a nobody. Do you want to make friends? Um, yes, yes, I do. Only what shall I make them with? I've got some wood and glue, 
but glue and fur is a bad, bad thing if it spills, and it does. You've got it wrong again. You can't make friends out of wood and glue. You make friends by being kind to somebody. You make friends by making someone happy. Now look here. Where? Into my magic book. If you look hard enough, you can see anything you want to see. Oh, I'm such a goody two-shoes, aren't I, Ferdy? The slightest drop of rain and I'm all dressed sensibly. Why can't I be a normal little girl and sulk and scream and refuse to put on my hat and coat? Because you are a good fairy, Jane. Yes, and it's so boring. I would say a very rude word, but I don't know any. Do you know any? <gasps> Ferdy, wash your mouth out with soap and water. Oh, do you see that over there? Butterfly, bling. butterfly on toast, bling, bling. butterfly burgers, bling. Birdie, bad frog. Oh, sorry. Oh, the poor thing, she's broken her wing. You wouldn't hurt a helpless creature like that now, would you, Ferdy? We have to look after her. Why, bling. it's bling. Madam Butterfly. Bling. She was a real friend to me when I was nothing but a tadpole. Bling. I was all washed up on a dry stone, bling. the sun was beating down, and you flapped your wings to keep me cool until the rain came and washed me to safety. Bling. I almost turned into a raisin. Oh, don't die, Madam Butterfly, don't die. Birdie, stop being silly and help me pick her up. We can be her wings and take her home. That's what friends bling, are for. Do you understand what a friend is, Slow Norris? I think, I think, I think a friend is like this. What? Like a smelly old rotten blanket? Smelly? Rotten? No, no, no. Warm, soft, cuddly, safe. You are the silliest, furriest, funniest creature I've ever met. You might be a slow Norris, but you make friends very quickly. Do I? Yes. Oh. <sighs> What's wrong? Well, where are they then? Where are who? My friends. Well, they're here, silly. Where? Me, silly. I'm your friend. That's if you want me to be. You are my friend. You are the friend of the slow Norris, but I haven't mended your broken wing or helped you back into a pond. Why, I haven't even offered you so much as a slug to eat. No, but you make me laugh. Laugh? Yes, you know, ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha? Oh, yes, yes, I see. <laughs> <laughs> The slow Norris likes it. Hello, slow Norris. It's me again. Me? Me? That's funny. I thought it was you, Ally. It is. Well, why didn't you say so? I thought I did. Anyway, open the door. I've got a surprise for you. A surprise? What is a surprise? 
It's something that happens that you didn't know was going to happen. Oh, I've already got one of those. You've got a surprise? Yes. I can't find the door. It's here, Slow Norris. In my hand. See? Well, no wonder I couldn't find it. You had it all along. Actually, Norris, it's a wonder you can find anything. Everything's the same colour here in your cave. What colour? Well, colour is what makes everything look nice and bright. Am I nice and bright? You're nice, which is why I've brought you a surprise. Look. Yuck. It's not to eat. It's a painting. It's to hang on the wall to brighten up your cave. What are these? They're called sunflowers. Why? Because they're yellow, like the sun. But what is the sun? The sun in the sky, of course. What is the sky? I'll show you. There's a whole new world outside waiting for you. Come on, don't be scared. <laughs> See that blue stuff? That's the sky. The sky. No, that's the grass. Grass is green, sky is blue. Sunflower. No, that's not a flower. It's the sun. The sun is yellow. Why is the sun yellow? Because it's very hot. I am very hot. <laughs> am I yellow? No, you are brown. What is brown? Brown is like mud. Slow Norris is like mud. Nice mud, lovely and blue. No, Norris, mud isn't blue. The sky is blue, the mud is brown. Slow Norris got it upside down. Look, it's all here in my magic book. There's red, yellow, blue, green. Green, blue, yellow, red. Do you understand? Hmm. OK. What's this colour then? Red. No, it's yellow. Try this one. Uh, is it blue? No, it's red. What's this one? I know that one. OK. What colour is it then? It's bellow. Bellow? Bellow isn't a colour. Well, first I thought it was blue, then I thought it was yellow. If you mix them up, you get bellow. No, silly. If you mix blue and yellow, you get green, like this. Oh. <laughs> and if you mix red and yellow together, you get orange. See? What's that? It's an orange. An orange what? An orange-coloured orange. It's a fruit. You eat them. They're very juicy. Oranges are orange, raspberries are red, buttercups are yellow, like the butter on my bread, and babies' eyes, and sunny skies are blue. Get it? Oranges are raspberry, buttercups are blue, bread is red. I'll have a slice, I don't mind if I do. The butter's green, and I have seen a perfect yellow sea. Very 
good at colours, are you? No, but I am very good at singing. I hope you're better at painting. What's painting? I'll show you. We're going to paint your cave to make it a bit more colourful. Mmm. This is a paintbrush. <sighs> Don't be silly. It won't hurt you. These are hairs. You dip the hairs into this paint. I dip my hairs into this paint? No, not your hairs. The paintbrush hairs. Oh. <laughs> How about yellow for the walls? Slow Norris's like yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Actually, that's blue, Slow Norris. Slow Norris is like blue. Whoosh. And orange. That's pink. Slow Norris is like green. That's yellow. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I must say, it looks very, uh, colourful. What's that noise? It must be thunder. Is it raining, I wonder? It is raining. But the sunflower's still in the sky. You mean the sun? If it's sunny and raining, there might be a rainbow. A rainbow? Yes. Look, over there. Oh, it's beautiful colours. Did you paint it, Ali? No, I can't reach that high. I wish I could put it inside my cave. Rainbows don't like it indoors, Slow Norris. Anyway, your cave is all the colours of the rainbow now. So are you. I'm all the colours of the rainbow? Yes, I think you've been painting yourself, Slow Norris. I may be a slow Norris, but at least I'm not a dull one. <laughs> <laughs> a bit steep. It's just as well hills have downs as well as ups, or there'd be no fun at all. I wonder if the slow Norris is in. Are you there, slow Norris? Hello, Ali. Did you hear a funny noise? No. What sort of noise? Now, let me see. It went ting -a, um, ting -a. ting a ling a ling That's it. <laughs> it was this. Come away, Ali. It looks dangerous. Don't be silly. It won't hurt you. Oh, it might. Look at those great big horns. They're not horns, they're handlebars. It's a bicycle, Slow Norris. But how did it get here? I rode it. You what did it? Road? What is rowing? I rode it up the hill. I ride my bicycle. See this bit here? Yes. That's called the saddle. You sit on the saddle. I sit on the saddle. No, not you. You're too big. I sit on it and push the pedals, and the wheels go round and round. Ali, why do the wheels go round and round? That's what makes the bike move. 
It goes ever so fast. Would you like to run along beside me? Run? Me? Run? Yes. It will do you good. It won't do me good. Running is bad for slow Norrises. Why? Well, it makes them put one foot in front of the other too quickly. Look! Oh, 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 there I've gone. All, all dizzy. All right, then. You stay there. See you. Oh, see you, Ali. Wow! Did you see Ali on her bike? It's no good you wowing, young Walter. If worms was meant to have bikes, they'd have been born with wheels. Bicycles. Bah! Nasty newfangled things. They're not nasty. They're fun. And they're fast. Whee! Whoosh! Who he doesn't hold with them. Them's dangerous. Rubbish. Oh, I wish I had a bicycle. I'm fed up with going slowly. I want to go whiz through the undergrowth, blast through the bracken. Supposing you did have a bicycle, how are you going to pedal it? Being as you haven't got no legs. Legs? What? Oh, I see. I couldn't turn the pedals, could I? No. Now, come along. Never mind bicycles. You go for a nice, sensible slither. Perhaps I could make something. I wonder if there's anything with wheels for a worm. Ali! 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 That sounds like Walter Worm. Ali! Hello, Walter. Oh, and there's Ben Beetle. Hello, Ben. Morning, miss. We've been watching you on your bicycle, and we were wondering... That is, I was wondering if there was anything we could make to make a worm go really, really fast. Something with wheels for a worm. No one has ever asked me that before. I think we'd better have a look in my magic book and see what we can find. Look, those are roller skates. They're wheels you wear on your feet. Worms haven't got no feet. There's no need to rub it in. How about a bus? Anyone can go on a bus. Yes, I could drive a bus, couldn't I? With a bit of practice. Not unless you grow a pair of hands. You can't steer if you've got no hands. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. What about a nice little car, Walter? This car is called a beetle. What is that, then? Because of its shape, I suppose. Is there a long, thin car called a worm? I don't think so. What's that? That's a skateboard. That's amazing! How come they don't fall off? I think they do sometimes. That's why they have to wear a special helmet and knee pads and elbow pads. I shouldn't need those. What with having no knees or elbows. Nor brain. Could you make me a skateboard, Ali? I could certainly try, Walter. Did you hear that, Ben? Ali is going to make me a skateboard. Why wriggle when you can roll? <laughs> <laughs> there. What do you think of that, Walter? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you, Ali. It's not going very fast, though, is it? That's because you has to push it. Push it? Let me see. How shall I do that? No good looking at me. If you think I'm pushing, you've got another thing coming. All right. I'll jolly well do it myself. I'll use my tail. Oh, careful, Walter. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's no good. It'll never work. Now, don't you go getting all down to the dumps, young worm. Ali will know what to do, won't you, miss? Me? Hmm, let me think. What are you thinking? I'm thinking we need some kind of engine. What's an engine? It's something that makes something move. I know. I've got a toy train at home that winds up. If I go and get it, we can stick it to the bottom of the skateboard. Then it will move all by itself. I won't be long. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. What's 
happened, Slenaris? Oh, I've been hit by a tree. Don't be silly. Trees don't hit people. I'm not people. I'm a slow Norris. Oh, a seesaw. Oh, I didn't see it, and now I'm sore. Ouch! Ouch! I expect you tripped over it. You're meant to sit on one end, and a friend sits on the other, and you make it go up and down. Oh! Hey, that's just given me an even better idea for Walter's skateboard. Pick up that seesaw and follow me. Hmm. Whee! Wow. Yay! Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Isn't this fun, Ben? Whee! Well, I'm only feeling a bit yeah. crazy, if you must know. Slow down, slow Norris. Slow down? <laughs> That's the first time anybody has ever asked me to go slower. <laughs> Norris's front door. I wonder if he's behind it. Hello, are you there, Slow Norris? <laughs> Am I where? On the other side of the door. Oh, I'm not sure. Just a minute, I'll have a look. Well, I'm not under the table. Not under the bed. What are you doing, Sir Norris? I'm looking to see if I'm on the other side of the door. Oh, Sir Norris, of course you are. Am I? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, all right then, Ellie. I'm here. You can come out now. Don't you mean come in? But I'm already in. Yes, but I'm not. When a friend knocks at your door, you're meant to say, come in. Oh, I see. Knock on the door, then. But I've already knocked. Oh, honestly. Let me in. No, you let me in, silly. I'm the one doing the knocking. I wondered who it was. It's me, Ali. Are you sure? You look like somebody else. Do I? Let me see. It's all right, Norris. It is me. This is what I look like with messy hair. <gasps> what is that? It's a mirror. What does it do? It shows you what you look like, and I look a mess. So does she. I didn't see her come in. That's not a she. That's me in the mirror. You mean there aren't two alleys? Gosh, no. One's plenty. It's just my reflection. Look. <laughs> Norris, whatever's the matter? <laughs> what? 
A mirror? No, no, a mum mum monster. Where? I can't see it. Show me. There. Can you see it? It's it's pointing at me. <laughs> What's funny? Oh, Norris, that's not a horrible anything. That's you. That's what you look like in the mirror. Oh, can we get a different mirror? Why? Well, I don't want to look like I look in that mirror. I'm afraid it doesn't matter which mirror you look in. You'll still look like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? I am. Why? I thought I, I thought I looked like you. Why on earth do you want to look like me? Because I like the way you look. Well, I like the way you look. Why? Because you look so Norrisy. Do I? Do all Norrises look like me? Well, I'm not sure. I haven't met all Norrises. Are there others? I don't know. But now I know what they look like. If I see one, I shall ask it. Good idea. Hmm. What are those? Those are my hair ribbons. They keep my hair neat and tidy. I want some. I want to be neat and tidy. <laughs> I don't think slow Norrises are meant to be neat and tidy. Ribbons wouldn't suit you. Does this suit me? No. Do these suit me? No. Pardon? <laughs> I'll show you the story about the time Jane the Fairy didn't like how she looked. You're so beautiful, Jane. I know. And it's so boring, Ferdy. I hate having perfect skin and long blonde hair and a tiny nose. You are so lucky. But I'm green and slimy and not nearly as pretty as you. Don't call me pretty. I hate being pretty. But I just can't help it. There, there, little thing. Are you all right? I'm so, so sorry. You are not very good at being bad, are you, Jane? No, I'm not. I'm ashamed at myself for behaving so well. But things are going to change. Oh. Madam Butterfly. Hello, Mr. Spider. How are the little spiders? Why is everyone running away from me? I know I look awful, which is good because I want to look bad, but bad because everyone thinks I really am bad, which I'm not. I think I'll go and find Ferdy. What have you lost, Ferdy? Um, I've lost Jane. Uh... Have you seen her? Uh, yes. Which way did she go? Why do you ask? I just wanted to tell her that no matter what she looks like, she can't help being beautiful to me. She knows, Ferdy. She knows. Sir Norris, it's who you are that really matters, not what you look like. And who am I? You know jolly well who you are. You're the slow, the slow. The slow, the slow. You can't have forgotten your name already. You'll be forgetting what you look like next. And what do I look like? You look big and hairy with a squashy nose and a big fat tummy. Is that beautiful? It is if you're slow, Norris. Norris! Norris! That's me, I remember now. 
Norris, 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 Norris. about eating crisps outdoors is that no one can tell you off for dropping them on the carpet. I wonder if the slow Norris likes crisps. I know. I'll offer him one. Who is it? It's Ali. Would you like a crisp? Pardon? Would you like a crisp? A crisp what? A crisp. Don't you know what crisps are? Are they like wasps? No, they're little golden crunchy things that you eat. So are wasps. See, these are crisps. Hey! Ugh, horrible. You're not meant to eat the bag. What is this? It's just a little snack. A little snack? Yes, in case I feel hungry. It's food. Surely you know what food is. Food? Food? Yes, things to eat. You can share it if you like. Share? What is share? Sharing is when you have some of mine. I've got things to eat. Plenty, plenty. What have you got? Uh, I've got this, and these, and these. Ooh, very crispy, very crunchy. Very tasty, I'm sure. Cher, you have some of mine. No, really, you have it. No, no, Cher. Um, I'll save it for later then. Thank you, Sloan Norris. Would you like a roll? Good idea. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm having a roll. I meant a bread roll. Oh, a bread roll. What's a bread roll? Where do they grow? I've never seen one growing in my cave. They don't grow anywhere. Where do they come from, then? You make them. Make them? What with? Well, you make bread with flour and water and... Flowers and water? No, flour. It's powdery stuff that's made from wheat. Eat? Did you say eat? Oh, I don't mind if I do. Mmm. That was greedy, Slow Norris. I said wheat. Wheat grows in a field. In a bread roll field? No. Oh dear, I wish I never started this conversation. Now what are you up to? Don't play with food, Slow Norris. That's my tomato. No, it's a roll. Rolly, rolly. Be careful. You'll squash it. Put it down. How did you make that tomato then? I didn't make it. Tomatoes grow on tomato plants. Some food we make some food we grow. Do you understand? Of course not. Well, let me show you where food comes from. It's here in my magic book. What's she doing? She's digging up potatoes. What's a potato? It's a vegetable that grows underground. You can eat it in all sorts of ways. Crisps are made from potatoes. They don't look much like crisps. They will soon. You watch. 
First you have to wash them. Then you peel them to take their skins off. Ouch! It's all right. It doesn't hurt. Vegetables don't have feelings. Norises do. Norises aren't vegetables. They're animals, I think. She's cutting the potatoes into slices now. Then she has to cook them. Cook them? Yes. Some food you have to cook before you can eat it. Noisy potatoes. Look, they're ready now. Norises can't cook. You don't need to cook. You eat things raw. Raw? Yes, raw. Raw! Not that sort of raw. Raw food is food you can eat without cooking. Like slugs? I don't like slugs. Not even cooked ones? No. Little girls don't eat slugs. They eat things like bread rolls. I wish you hadn't eaten my bread roll when I was telling you about wheat. What's wheat? I've forgotten. This is wheat. It's waving. Shall we wave back? It can't see us. It's a plant. When it's ripe, the farmer cuts the wheat and takes it to the mill. I see. A mill is a place where they grind up the wheat to make flour. It doesn't look nice to eat. It's a bit dry. You don't eat it raw. You use it to make things like bread, remember? First, you put the flour in a bowl. Then you mix it with water and yeast until it's nice and gooey. That doesn't look like a roll. No, it's not a roll yet. It's called dough. She leaves the dough in a nice warm place. Oh, that's kind. Ali, Ali, the dough's trying to climb out of the bowl. It's meant to do that. Look, she's hitting it. No, she's kneading it. Now she's making it into little rolls. Now they're going into the oven to bake. There. Lovely, hot, crusty rolls. I wish I still had my roll. I'm sorry, Ali. Never mind. There's always a tomato. Um, there was. What do you mean? Was. There was a tomato, but now there isn't. Have you eaten it? Stand up and help me look for it. So, Norris, you sat on my tomato. Did I? Yes, and you ruined my crisps and ate my roll. I haven't got anything for lunch now. Never mind, I'll grow you something. It'll take too long. I'll find you something. I'd rather you didn't. Oh, I'm sorry, Slow Norris. I'm afraid being hungry always gives me a bad temper. I found some apples, Ali. Hooray! He's found something proper to eat. Oh, no. You're meant to pick the apples, not the tree. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, 
dear, mm. this really is too much. Today of all days, he's never this late, never. I just don't understand it. I'm sure I can hear a little voice. Is it a bird? Is it a bee? No, it's Walter to Worm. Where has the postman got to? I expect he's late because his sack is full of cards from my friends. Hello, Walter. Whoa! Sorry, did I make you jump? Oh, it's, uh, it's all right. I was expecting someone else, that's all. The postman. You haven't seen him, have you? No. Why are you expecting something important? No, no, nothing important. Although one would have been nice. One what? One birthday card. Of course. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Walter. Thanks. I said happy birthday, Walter. You don't look happy at all. Not one little card. Not one present. You don't get your cards and presents until your party. Am I having a party? Of course you are. Everybody has to have a party on their birthday. How exciting. Who will be there? Well, who have you invited? Um, nobody. Worms aren't very good at invitations. Would you do it for me? OK. Would you like the Slow Norris to come to your party? Yes. Except, if he comes, will there be any room for anyone else? Hmm. There will be if the rest of the guests are small. Ben Beetle is small. We'll ask him, then. I think that's all of them. Oh, aren't we forgetting someone? No, I, I don't think so. Me, Ben, the Slow Norris. That's it. What about me? Can I come? You? You want to come to the party of a humble worm? I'd love to. I like parties, especially the birthday cake. Birthday cake? Oh, dear. I haven't got a cake. We can't have a party without a cake. I can make one. No, no. You are the balloon and telling people to come person. I'll make the cake. Right, what do I need? Uh, yeah, well, some of that'll be nice. Uh, I need to mix it with some. See you later, Walter. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Look at these lovely balloons, Slow Norris. Are you looking forward to Walter's birthday party? I'm, I'm looking the same as I always do, Ellie. No, I mean, are you excited? Yes. Can't you tell? No. When I'm excited about something, I jump up and down and giggle. <laughs> oh, I do this. See? Is that it? Gosh, what do you do if something really, really special happens? This. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I won't be able to blow up these balloons. Now come and help me or we'll be late to the party. Mmm, <laughs> nice and cakey. Can't wait to tuck into this. Ooh, just come to see how that there birthday cake is coming along. What are those? Currants? Currants? No, no, no. They're stones. Chocolate cake, is it? No, no. Mud. Oh, dear. What? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, nothing. Right. I'll put this in the oven. Worms don't have ovens. Ah, oh, so they don't. Um, what shall I do? You could try baking it in the sun. Mmm, good idea. How long do you think I should leave it? I don't want it to burn. Oh, oh, no, no, oh, oh. we wouldn't want it to taste horrid now, would we? Ellie, what is a party dress? Something to wear on special occasions. I haven't got a party dress. Slow Norris's don't wear dresses. What do they wear, then? Party fur, I suppose. I've only got this fur. I'll brush it for you, make you neat and tidy. Yuck! Horrid! I think I'll run on and see how Walter's getting on with his cake. <laughs> Hello, Walter. Is this the cake? It looks very, uh, very unusual. Yes, it's my very own recipe. Would you like a slice? Oh, no. We shouldn't cut it until the party. OK. I'll just put a candle in it. It's a stick, really. That doesn't matter. The stick won't go in. Oh, it's too soft. Ali, what's gone wrong? I tried really hard. 
Oh, nothing went wrong, Walter. It's a lovely mud pie. Birthday cakes are just made of different ingredients. What's a birthday cake? It's a special kind of cake. Look, I'll show you in my magic book. To make a birthday cake, you need flour, sugar, butter, and eggs. You have to weigh the ingredients very carefully. Why? Otherwise, the cake will be too flat or too hard. I wish I'd weighed my mud. Now you mix the sugar into the butter until it goes creamy. Add the eggs. It's a bit runny. You'd be a bit runny if I kept beating you with a spoon. Next, you add the flour. Then it's baked in the oven. Now it's ready. You have to tip it out and let it cool. Then what do you do? You decorate it. First, you cover the cake with icing. Then you put the candles on it. Five candles. There, that's how you make a birthday cake. Oh, I wish I had a cake like that. But I haven't got any eggs, so I can't have a cake. And does that mean I can't have a party? Oh, Walter, of course it doesn't. Oh, good. Happy birthday, Walter. Oh, gosh. <laughs>